Good morning, church of the Will y'all stand to your feet? Let's worship God. Come on, put them hands together. Do you see what I see?
heaven thundered and the world was born. Life begins and then in the dust you form. But faith commanded in the mountain. God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Yeah.
Your name is powerful. We can call on your name. We speak Jesus into our situation. I speak Jesus into the sickness. I speak Jesus into my family, Lord. I speak Jesus into my spirit, Lord God. I command my spirit to worship you this morning. Thank you for sending your son. Thank you for your sacrifice, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, we worship you. Death could not hold you. The veil tore before you. You silenced the most of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring. The praise of your glory. For you are raised to life again. You have to do whatever it is that he wants to 
do whatever he needs to do so that you will get the victory. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you. We adore you this morning, God, and we bless your holy name. We lift up praises to you, God, and we invite you into this place by invitation of our worship. Would you ride in on our worship, oh God? <laughs> and have your way here. Touch every person, Father. Change minds, change families, change lives, oh God. We've come for one reason only, and that is to encounter you, to worship you, to love on you, and to hear from you. Father, would you bless the bishop this morning and give him words for everlasting life? Would you touch his body? Would you strengthen him, God? Would you fill him with the Holy Ghost right now, oh God, so that we get a word that will change our lives? We want to hear from heaven, God, and we want to agree with heaven. We love you this morning, God. We bless you this morning. You are great and you are greatly to be praised. And we pray in the name that is above every name. In the name of Jesus, who is our Savior. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together and bless the Father. Bless the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Yeah. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody shout glory. seats in the presence of our king good morning church of the bay Woo. worship like that okay i'm just saying we welcome you into the house of the lord this morning if you're here for the very first time i see some people who are here for the first time i see some people who've come back we're so glad that you're here listen if you're here for the first time we'd like to connect with you and one of the ways to do that is that you will text the word first to our text number which is 281-247-8811 there are also some connect cards in the lobby if you get a connect card fill it out you can put your prayer request on there as well and then just drop it in the offering bucket at the end of service amen listen we want you to get registered for pastor's lunch pastor's lunch happens at 10 45 mother Catherine's excited about that because she's on the follow-up team <laughs> so our follow-up team you sit down you have lunch with them pastor drew will tell you a little bit about this church and then we'll find out a little bit about you and what brought you to church of the bay and then how we can grow together in christ amen all right we have one major announcement See if can I get my pocket to work this time? We have one major announcement. <laughs> Easter's coming, guys. Listen, it's not about the bunny. It's not about the baskets. It's about the blood, amen? So we're gonna celebrate our, res our resurrected king and we want you to first of all come and then invite somebody. So in the lobby, you will find some invite cards. I'm not even asking you to take a stack of them unless you have like a business or something, you can put them in your business. But I'm just asking you to take one, pray over it. Who do you need to give it to? You don't know somebody that you invite to church, it could change their very lives. So if you would just take one card, pray about it, and invite someone uh, to just come out and celebrate with us this Easter, amen? Well, come on and stand to your feet. Our services are 9, 1030, 1030, y'all, 1030, not 10.45. Y'all gonna be late. Y'all gonna miss worship. We'll be all laid out on the floor. Y'all gonna wonder, how was, what happened? What did I miss? So come on at 1030 and then 12 o'clock. And then right after 12, we're going to baptize a number of people. If you want to be baptized, go online and register to be baptized, okay? All right. We're going to recite our church creed this morning. Here we go. Church of the Bay is a multi-generational, multicultural, life-giving church that is extremely intentional about resembling heaven. The way it is described, there will be one people in one place worshiping one God. Church of the Bay is a place where people have come from many different backgrounds looking for one thing, 
a place to belong. We are reaching people with God's love and impacting our city through community. Say it loud. We are a real church for real people. Come on and put your hands together and bless the Lord for our pastor, Pastor Drew Joyce. Ah, praise the Lord, everybody. You have no rival, you have no equal, now and forever, God, you reign. Come on, say that. Yours is the kingdom, yours is, come on. One more time, you have no rival, sing. Come on, talk to him. <coughs> you have no equal. Come on, praise team said. Now and forever. Come on, sing. Yours is the kingdom. <clears throat> Say. One more time, sing it. Say it like you mean it. Say, you have no rival. You have. No one can stand against you. No one can compare to you. Now and forever, one more time, you have no rival, you have, come on, yours is the glory, yeah, yeah. come on, what a powerful name singing, what a powerful name, what a powerful name, come on, say his name. What a powerful name. Hey, nothing can, nothing can stand against the name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is. The name of, come on, what a powerful name. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Yeah. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Come on. It is the sweetest. Yeah, I come on, sing it again. Say something, something about the name. Yeah, something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. Come on, I know. Oh, how I love saying, Oh, how, oh, how I love the name Jesus. Hey. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. Oh, I, I know. Come on, say something about the name. Everybody say, it is the sweetest name. Come on, call that name. I know. Oh, how I love. Oh, how I, yeah. yes, come on, say, oh, how I love the name Jesus, it is the sweetest name, it is the sweetest name, yeah, I know, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, he's the lily of the valley, he's the bright and morning star, Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, he's the God of every nation, bless his name, sweet Jesus, can we give my mother the microphone, can we give my mother a microphone, Come. my mama's here this morning. 
my mother had knee surgery and she hadn't been here for the last two, two months. My mother loves her church. My mother loves her pastor. And I know it was almost killing her not to be here. But can you just sing sweet Jesus? Sweet Jesus. Church, church, church. Yeah. Four, five. Three, four, five. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Let's give Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. I said there is power in the name. You got to know how to use what's already been given to you. We've been given a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You got to know how to use what you have. You got to know how to use what you've been given. You've been given a name. There's power in that name. There's love in that name. There's joy in God. I wish I had a church in here. There's peace in that name. Ah, there is a name that I love to hear. Even I love to sing its work. It sounds like music in my ear. It's the sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. God have mercy. I hear somebody I hear somebody saying that that that's nothing but a bunch of emotionalism absolutely it's my soul and when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for little old me my soul my mind, my will, my emotion. There's something that happens in my soul, in my emotion. I just can't keep it to my... I've got to tell somebody. I've got to scream hallelujah. My soul cries out hallelujah. Woo! He's a wonder in my soul. Woo! Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There's no other name I know. I said bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands all ye people and let's bless the wonderful name of They show sure putting a whole lot on that name. Listen, when you know like I know. Yeah. I was in Fort Worth, Texas. My God, I was riding on 287 and I was exiting and it was raining that day and I had a, a Bronco 2. It was top heavy. Those of you that know anything about those vehicles, very top heavy vehicle. 
and I made a sharp turn. And when I made the turn, I began to hydroplane. And I turned all the way around facing oncoming traffic. Well, my daddy raised me to say the name of Jesus. Whenever you're in trouble, the name of Jesus is powerful enough to get you out of the trouble that you're in. My daddy said, now you're going to be far from me because we're down in Houston. As a matter of fact, he lived in, 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 in a little small uh, a country town called Belleville, Texas. He lived there. That, and, and, and he said, you're going to be far from me, but I want you to take this name with you. When I'm not close around and you can't call my name, let me give you a, another name to call. A name that's bigger and better than my name. A name that's more powerful than my name. People know me around Belleville because it's a small little city. But li li listen, listen, I'm going to give you a name that you can call eh, and demons have to tremble. Come on. God, I wish I had a church in here. Everything has to come subject to the name of Jesus. He, he said, I know you love your mama, but your mama can't do you like Jesus can. He says, I'm going to give you a name. That name is Jesus. Because there's power in his name. Not in just the name alone, but his names allow you access. <laughs> access to a power. Access to a power that is given to those who want power. And if you want that power, <laughs> you activate it by saying, Jesus. He, he, and signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils in my name shall they speak the new tongues in my name shall they take up serpents if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover in my name I was exiting and begin to hydroplane and I'm facing oncoming traffic and I called on the only name I knew to call. I called on Jesus. That's my story. I called him and he came to my rescue. The cause that was facing me going 65, 70 five miles an hour came to a standstill. It's like it was an invisible bubble all around me. It's not in just calling Jesus. No. It's calling on the name you know that's going to give you the power you need to activate, to do what you know need to be done right in that moment. If you're looking for salvation, I double dog that you. Don't call on Drew. Don't call on wifey. Come on, don't call on your brother. Don't call on, call Jesus. The more I call him. Woo, boy, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I, ah, ah, God have mercy. My God. Woo. 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 Chris. Kennedy, let me help y'all out. Calling Jesus is like saying Akuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free philosophy. His name is. Ooh. God, I gotta preach. Oh, but we about to mess up, y'all. We about to mess up. Can I get you to just take about two minutes? Come on. You only got, come on, 60 plus two. Come on, you only got 120 seconds. I need you to just go ahead and get that thing out. Go ahead. Go for what you know. Get it out. I know it's in you. Praise God. Praise him. Woo! 
turn that track up. Work it out, work it out, work it out. Ah, no, he's all right. Ah, you better celebrate. Lord, she done fell under the seat. Lord, help yourself, help yourself. You can run, you can jump, you can move that chair out the way. Go ahead on. My oh! When I think of his goodness and what he done for me, when I think of his goodness and how he set me free, I can dance, 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 dance all day. Do me a favor and get on that rise right there and just give God your best praise. Get on that rise right there. Go, go, go. We're going to get on this rise right here. Big boy. Ow! Woo! Come on, we got this space. We're going to praise God for it. We're going to magnify him. We're going to glorify him. Anybody else want to come up here? May I have this dance? May I have this dance? Oh, we done messed up now. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Go ahead, go. Go ahead, get on up there. Praise God. Give God a praise. It's in order. Yeah. My God. Yeah. You better praise him. I see you. I see you. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Get your praise on. I'm not getting in your way. Ah, we had to get that out, y'all. I'm sorry. Praise him, Michelle. I see you over there in the corner. Praise him. I see you, Chris. I see you, Hill. I see you, Shanika. Go ahead on, Brittany. Praise him. Go ahead. Go ahead on, Frank. You better clap up like you know how to clap. Hallelujah. All right. 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 That's enough. All right. All right. Can y'all behave yourself? Can y'all behave yourself? I'm trying to quit. But y'all act like y'all can't behave yourself. What's wrong? What's, what's... Y'all don't want me to preach? What's wrong? Well, go ahead and just praise God a little more. Go ahead and get your... Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all don't feel that? My God, my God, I'm trying to keep myself. Baby, I'm really trying. I, I, I really am trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stop, but they... Woo! They won't behave. Mm, my God, my God, my God. Okay, all right. Whew. All right. Mm. My dad was in tent revival. They were in tent revival. And the power of God was moving. Somebody called the cops on my dad. 
and all of the saints that was making noise playing this same kind of Holy Ghost music. People were shouting, falling out of the power of God. And all of a sudden, the cops showed up. And when they showed up, my dad was on the floor. He was speaking in tongues. And, and, and God was just moving all over the place. It was like fire. Come on, just all over the place. And so they, 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 they saw him on the floor. And he said, hey, 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 you got to turn it off. You got to turn it off. You got to get up. And, and he said, when he came to himself, he, he, he looked up and he looked at the officer. He says, but, 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 but don't you feel that? And then the officer said, yeah, I feel that. I wonder if there's anybody here that can just feel a little something. You can't explain what it is. You can't articulate what it is. You don't know. You can't write about it. But it's something about the Holy Ghost that I can't explain. Somebody just shout one more time. Shout. Woo. I've got it, the victory. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. He's all right, Elder James. Woo. Lord have a... Ah! Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. Jesus, Jesus. Woo. Come on, y'all, behave. Woo. This, this, this reminds me of the day of Pentecost. Everyone was with one accord. And a sound came from heaven. Like the sound of a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the whole house. One band. One sound. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, in that key, everybody shout hallelujah. There's given to be a vibration in this place and it's going to hit you like crazy. Uh, it's going to hit you uh, in a space where you... Come on, you didn't even expect it was going to hit you today. But I double dog dare you to call on, come on, call on that name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We boast, we brag in the name of God, in Yahweh. Yes, in Yahweh, in the most high. Yes. One more time, somebody in that tone shout hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Glory. I pray that you experience uh, uh, the miraculous power of God in your life. Uh, somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, that's a praise. That's a praise. Uh, that's a universal praise. Uh, praise everybody knows hallelujah in Swahili hallelujah is hallelujah huh? yeah, in French hallelujah is hallelujah in Espanol hallelujah is hallelujah we boast we brag and we celebrate God somebody just celebrate him now hallelujah in Spain it's hallelujah come on yeah, in Zimbabwe it's hallelujah in Australia in China it's hallelujah hallelujah Whatever you've been needing, whatever you've been needing from God, come on. Whatever you've been wanting from the Lord, I need you to just reach up and grab it. Yeah, Come on, I need you to lift your hands and say, Lord, I, I need you in my life. I need you in the crevices of these compartments of my heart. Come, Lord Jesus, like a mighty Russian wind and feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Those people are crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. 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 Oh. Oh. 
Hallelujah. seated if you can be seated if you can want to get in the way of what God wants to do you have to make space for God the God factor however he wants to move we have to learn how to get out of the way and just say Lord however you just, just touch me touch me in a way that I don't know just this is one of the places where you can come and be vulnerable I know you have to keep your guard up everywhere. You got to keep your guard up at work. You got to keep your guard up sometime at home. You got to keep your guard up. Uh, certainly at school and in various places at the grocery store. You got to keep your guard up. You don't have to keep your guard up when you're in the presence of the Lord. You become very vulnerable. Just open your heart and allow God to do whatever it is that he wants to do. Let God come in and just take residence in your heart. Just let him touch you. Let him feel you. You got a long week next week. A long day tomorrow. Some of y'all going to work, start early in the morning. It's been a long week. It's been a long month for some people. It's been a long year already for some people. You need this. This is therapy. This is the kind of stuff that makes your blood pressure level out. It's the kind of stuff yeah, that make you diabetes that's been going all kind of just you get back to your doctor and they like what in the world have you been doing and you just tell them listen when I went to church this Sunday we had a moment bishop couldn't preach they couldn't sing we just had a moment one moment with Jesus is better than Adderall. Better than Vivans. Better than any kind of Advil or antidepressant. It's better than Xanax. Ain't nobody saying nothing. My boy specializes in acupuncture. It's better than acupuncture. It's better than any kind of resolve or it's better than a chiropractor. It, 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 it. Have you ever had a chiropractor before? You know how good that feels? The Spirit of God. It's better than an hour with your therapist. Go ahead, drink, drink up, drink up, drink up. Be filled with his presence. So when you leave here, you're facing all kinds of challenges, temptations. You have something to fight with. You have something to combat. 
every attack of the enemy with you've got power you've been filled yeah. you've extinguished all of that you're, you're, you're empty when you come Lord fill me up fill me up God fill me up God fill me up Fill me up, God. Fill me. Up. Come on, sing. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Hallelujah. Fill us, oh God, till we overflow. Fill me up. Come on. Some of y'all need this. Some of y'all really, really need this. Y'all been operating on E for a long time. Shot. You, you need this. Drink, drink. Come on, let God love on you. Come on, just open up. Just, just let him love on you. Just, just, just take a moment and just let him. Just. I don't have to say nothing. The words of my lips are feeble. You need God. I need you to say something. No, no, no. You need God. You need God. You need the Spirit of God to arrest you. You need the Spirit... Come on, fill me up, God. Everybody say, fill me up, fill me up. I need you to fill me up. I need it, 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 I need your power, God. I need your spirit, God. I need your anointing, God. I need you, Jesus. I want to drink from the well that would never run dry. Fill my cup, Lord, and let it overflow. Let it overflow. Fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up. I need an encounter to you.
me one of those jugs back there. Fill me up, fill me up till I overflow. Somebody say, I just want to run over. I want to run over. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hallelujah. Keep playing that. The Lord gave me a song some years ago. And it was called Ready for Use. I want to be ready for use. It was one day I went to the cabinet to get something off of the shelf. And I looked at one of the bottles. And the, 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 the side of the bottle said ready for use. got a revelation it hit me you gotta be ready for God to use you when he's ready to pull you off the shelf you can't be empty but what's on the inside of you it has to be ready to be poured out some of you have been trying to pour with nothing on the inside some of you been trying to live with nothing on the inside. Some of you been trying to love people. You empty. You gotta have something to give something. Lift your hand. Fill me up. Fill me up until I overflow. something like this I want to be ready for use he said I'm a vessel willing to be used by the king I humble myself as a sacrificial offering when you reach for me I don't want to be empty I want my life to be full I want to be ready 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 for use be ready, ready, ready for use. Four, three, two. I want to be ready, ready, ready for use. Come on. I want to be ready, ready, ready for use. Say it again. Come on. I want to be ready, ready, ready for use. Yeah. Come on, I think you got it. Come on. I want to be ready. ready. Anybody want to be ready for God to use? Ready him? for use. When it's your time to step up I to the plate be ready. and do what God ready. has called, commanded, commissioned you to ready do. Ready for use. There's something that has to be there for God be to use. Ready. Tasha Cobbs came out with that fill me up it was years ago and, and I said that same thing fill me up yeah I did fill me up fill me up cause I want to be ready when you call me I want to be ready when you pick on me I want to be ready I want to run over Says you ready? God says you ready. You got a little something, something in you. God, I, but I'm working with a little something. something. God, I'm working with a little something. something. I'm probably not not overflowing. I'm working with a little something. Well, she's overflowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's overflowing. But Lord, I want to overflow. God says I'm ready to give it to you. Are you ready? God says I'm ready to release. I'm ready to release. You want it? You want it? Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, lift up your hands now and say, fill me up. Yeah, fill me up until I overflow. I want to run over. Oh, 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 I want to run over. Fill me up, fill me up. 
services that are being promoted and people are becoming millionaires brand new people they're just offering a product and a service and they'll become millionaires too offering a product and a service selling a product and a service and we buy it for $8.99 we buy it $7.99, $5.99, we buy it. $99.99, we buy it. Looking for a business opportunity? For $4.99. Just $499. You get to start a brand new business. It's your business. How is that now? Now, you have a business. And we're going to teach you how to network and work your business. Now you got an upline. And your upline got an upline. And all you have to do is sell these products. If you don't want to just sell the products, you can just build a business. What? I can build a business? I can have my own business? For $2.99? Oh, I'm not against multi-level marketing because it works when you work it but some of us trying to get rich quick 
and making this investment and ain't willing to work the business. Or, we, or you have a poor product trying to push a product that ain't really real. A bunch of people are buying a product. What are you talking about, preacher? You're buying stuff anyway, trying to find some fulfillment. I'm trying to give you something that's free. You don't have to pay for this. All you have to do is just surrender. Say, Lord, I don't want to live without you anymore. I just give you, I want to give you every part of me. And it comes in moments like this. Moments that you, you have to become very vulnerable. The message that I had today was entitled, put the title up there. You got the title? Real quick. Field to pour. Field to pour. Somebody say field to pour. Write it if you can. Just find any blank template and just write field to pour. Field to pour. Field to pour. Field to pour. Field. Field. Blessing somebody else. I've been blessed. I get to bless somebody else. Woo! Yes, take all these blessings. Woo! But now I'm empty. But now I'm empty. So I'm coming on a Sunday morning. get filled up again I come this Sunday morning not being religious I'm not coming here for no other reason I didn't come to look cute I ain't come to find a home
this next wave. God says, you've been going through the ringer one thing after another. God says, I'm getting ready to cause you to come to a place of fulfillment. Get ready, get ready. Surrender to it, surrender to it. can make y'all way somewhere. Move them chairs out the way. Come on, move those chairs out the way. Can you? Y'all get here the best way you can. Come on, get, 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 get around here.
This is what you've been needing from God. I don't know who you are. There's, there's, a, there's a special anointing on you. On you both. A special anointing. Hi. Hi. Never met you before. I'm feel to pour. I have.
of your appetites. Appetites. Appetites are being changed. I'm changing your appetites. God says, I'm changing your appetites. I don't know what some of you crave, but you've been craving. And you don't like what you've been craving. You know that the cravings that you've been having, they aren't fruitful, they aren't beneficial. And you're crazy. I don't know what it is. It could be money. It could be success. It could be women. It could be men. It could be drugs. I don't know what it is. But God says, I'm changing. I, I, I heard the Lord just tell me to tell you that, that, that you want to be filled and you feel like that you're filled with something else. You feel like you're full. You feel full. You, you, you feel like you're fulfilled. But it's artificial. You why na makosia? Some of why? Yeah, okay, all right. Some of you are craving. Hatred, malice, bitterness. You want a person to not die, but you really want a person to feel your pain. And you crave for them to feel the hurt, the bitterness, the shame. God says, I'm changing your appetite. I'm changing your appetite. What you crave, God says, I'm cleaning that up. Lift your hands to God, right? I know we did it once. I know we did it twice. I know we did it three times. Thank you, sir. I said thank you. I, I... You've been craving one thing, God said, I'm getting ready to switch your craving to something spiritual. Come on. To heaven. Not just spirituality. Not any kind of spirituality. Not false spirituality. But be filled with his spirit. The power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands now and say, feel me. That's how we do over here. That's how we do. 
That's how we do over here. Woo. Yeah. Why are you sitting there? Come on. Come and put your hands on it. Come on over here. Come on, man. I need your strength. I need your strength. Look at that. Look at God. Woo! Yeah. Turn him up. Turn him up. Turn him up. Turn him up. That's it, that's it, that's it. There it is. There it is. Ha! There it is. Woo! Receive it. Receive it. Hey! Receive it, man. Receive it, man. Receive it, man. I feel you, man. Feel me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Feel him, God. Feel him, Jesus. Jesus. 
Lord. Touch my brother. Touch my sister. Touch him. Touch this couple. Come here, man. Come here. Let me love on you. God sent me here. God sent you here for me to love on you. You hear me? God sent you here for me to love on you. This is not an accident. This is not coincidence. This is not some kind of strange occurrence. This ain't my girlfriend drug me here. No, 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 no. This is predestination. It's ordered by God. As full as you look, you empty. You're, oh, you got some stuff going on. You look great. Nice, everything nice. You're smiling. Your, your eyes look like they're bright and like you're just ready to go out to conquer. But there's still a lack. There's still a, a place that you have helped. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You have locked a lot of people out of a secret compartment in your life because you've been hurt, you've been bruised, you've been scarred, you've been, you've been dealt a bad hand. You've been betrayed. They betrayed you. They betrayed your trust. Because you're a giving person. And you give and people just take. You give and give until you become bitter. I don't want to give no more. I don't want to be a giver no more. Why do I keep getting in this position? I always want to give my all my best to people. But it seems like the more I give, the more they take. God says you've come to the right place at the right time because I'm getting ready to fill you. I'm going to fill those places in your heart, in your in, in, that are lacking strength, courage, tenacity. You've been wanting to give up. You've been wanting to give up on some things that God said. I, I, I don't, don't give up on those things. I've placed those things in your life. For a reason, I've placed those things in your life. Don't give up. You've come too far to turn around. Let him feel you today. I'm not a prophet, but the spirit of prophecy come over me. Every now and again, the, pro the, 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 the spirit of the prophet overshadows and I can see with clarity. I see a wounded person. I see a hurting person, an amazing individual. But people don't know how much you hurt. On the outside, everybody thinks everything is going just lovely. But on the inside, you are torn apart. You're in pieces. On the inside, you're like, where is my help? I help everybody. You're the help. Thank you, Lord. You're the help. You help everybody, but nobody turns around and helps you. You strengthen, you encourage people, you build people, but nobody turns around and builds you up. You, let me tell you why you're here today, man. To get built up. You know those same brothers that was over there touching that brother over there? I'm going to ask those same brothers to come over here and put their hands on you. Every man, can you please excuse yourself from, from, from that place and come over here to where this man is? This man is running on fumes right now. He just said, he said on fumes. As now see his smile, excuse me, his smile fooled people because he has this smile, this, 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 this essence that, that, that makes people go to somebody else because they skip over him saying, oh, he's fine. He'll be fine. He'll be all right. He gonna bounce back. A lot of people say that about you. He gonna be all right. Do. You really wanted to throw in the towel. That's impossible. And we're standing here only because you you were at the point of making the 
a decision that could just end it all. I see you. I see it. I see what, what you want to use to do it. If I just did this, everything would go away. I know I, I shouldn't be doing it, but right now I just listen, man. It just it get that hard. And then those spirits come and then you good. You because I'm gonna pray for you today. And all these brothers, you feel that weight? This weight is from brothers, man, that know what it is like to mess up, to fail, to feel like a failure. It's all right, man. You're in good company today. You want to get all the strength that you need. I pray in the name of Jesus. Strengthen, reveal, restore. In the name of everything that the enemy has tried to take away, everything that he's stolen from you, I decree and declare yeah, ah, that God return everything you back to you. He, God said, I, I didn't allow it to happen to break you. Mm-hmm. I allowed it uh-huh, to come into your life to make you mm, what I want you to be lift up your hands to the Lord right now young man just lift up your hands and say Lord I receive everything you have for me that's it man that's it y'all pray for him I need y'all to get that brother's name get his number y'all trade information with him love on him call him text him call these brothers text him love on one another Hallelujah. You're not empty no more. You're not empty anymore. God said to me, son, it can't come by information today. It has to come through impartation. There was no way I could have tried to fulfill my obligations, my responsibility, and hold to this message, this sermon. God says, this is the sermon. This is the message. Be refilled. Be refilled. Be refilled. Be refilled refilled and begin to overflow. Get ready. Watch this. Get ready to go and feel. Get ready to go and pour. Because other people need this. What you receive today... Your employees need this. What you receive today, all of the other subordinates need this. Receive it. So you can go back out and pour. Come here, baby. Yes. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Just you. No, so cool. Ramanda, yeah, that's it. Come because with your hands up real high. Yes, Lord. I'm going to take your glasses, okay? So, Rabakata. Get ready to be filled. Girl, you low. Almost crippled. Just doing any and everything just to try to make yourself feel better. Seems like everything is just temporary. Everything else is just... You can't find a solution. God says, I see you. God says, I see you. And we're standing here. And today is your day for release. Cause walls to fall. I love you, boo. And with your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing. Be filled. See how your hands are up right now? Uh huh. We're standing. God says, I'm touching you. Only because you made. Because you move mountains. You call.
cause the walls to <laughs> fall with your power. Touch your, touch your mind. Touch your mind. Perform touch your mind. Miracles. <laughs> touch your mind. There is nothing <laughs> that's <laughs> impossible. The anger. <laughs> We're standing <laughs> the here only the because ah. you made. We're standing here. I rebuke the spirit of murder. Only because you made. I rebuke the spirit of suicide. I rebuke the spirit only because you made. I pray in the name of Jesus. Be filled. Be healed. Be healed. Place your hand on her heart. Yeah, right there. God, I pray for her heart. Pray for her heart now in the name of Jesus. Lord, there have been some things that have transpired in her life. And I pray that her heart, the condition of her heart, begin to be mended now in the name of Jesus. No more brokenness. Be healed. I need you to breathe for me. Breathe. There you go. In the name of there it is. Ha! There it is. Ha! Don't know why, but I'm grateful. Don't know why. The name of Jesus. Jesus. I pray for your mouth. I pray for your ears. Though there are things that come out of your mouth that your ears hear because you've always heard bad things. God says, I'm cleaning this up. I'm cleaning this, 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 this up. You're going to say positive things so you can hear positive things. I, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every unclean. Ow! She's going to be a strength. She's going to be a strength to so many people. Woo! Watch what I tell you. She's going to be a blessing to so many people. God's going to turn her life around. Boy, she's going to be dope, man. That's, that's, that's dope. Man. That's, that's walking dope right there. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what I see. Keep, keep surrendering to God. You hear what I say? You keep surrendering to God. Don't you dare give up on God. God hadn't given up on you. I don't forget what you heard. Don't, 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 don't think that God gave up on you. You hear me? God didn't give up on you. I'm a witness. God didn't give up on you. He's the one who's been keeping you. You could have died many times. You have been in instances and situations where death was right upon you. You've seen the death angel come to you. And you still escaped. you like, I don't know how in the world I made it out of that. God said, because I have a plan for you. Bukos. You have a testimony. You have an amazing story. God says, I'm putting that story together. Write it down. You've been writing. Journal it. You got it all in your head. Write it down. Put it on paper. I'm telling you, there's dopeness in you. God says, I've called you. The reason why you've been attacked so much is because the devil is trying to counsel out. Where y'all think the counsel culture came from? He's the originator of counsel culture. He tried to counsel you so many times, but you can't be counseled because the spirit of God is in you. It's just, it's just all around you. You've been going to different places, being involved in certain things, grieving the Holy Spirit, but his angels stayed around you because somebody, I don't know, I don't know your family or nothing. 
but there's people that have been praying for you. And there are angels around you. That's why death can't touch you. Because angels are around you. The reason why you are attractive, what I mean by that is you attract people. Like you're a magnet for people. And it seems like you become a magnet for trouble. You're still a magnet. You become a magnet. You, because that's an anointing that God has given you to draw, to draw, to draw. If you're not careful, you'll start drawing the wrong thing, the wrong crowd, the wrong stuff, the wrong cultures, the wrong... You are a people magnet. People just flock to you. People want to hear what you got to say. What you think about this? You have a way of explaining things. God wants to use you. Tell your story. You got a magnificent story. Come on, somebody give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Let's be dismissed. I don't want to hold you any longer. The Lord has already moved. I want you to um, go and be blessed. My wife is pointing at the, uh, at the screen. I saw you, boo. Don't leave here until you had an opportunity to partake in this service. Amen. Go ahead for it. Go for it, sweetheart. They can hear you. He's fixing it.
excited about what Hallelujah. God is doing? Give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, anybody had a good time today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was very unconventional, very unscripted. But to God be the glory. We are so appreciative of you and your family. Um, we're getting ready to dismiss you. If there's not anything else for the good of the body, we're going to go ahead and be dismissed. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just pray for uh, this, your people, Father. As we leave this place, we'll never leave your presence. God, go go before us and make every crooked path straight. God, I pray for this people. I, I bless these people, God, with an apostolic blessing. God, I pray that you would cover them and bless them and keep them. Keep your hedge of protection around about them, oh God. I thank you, God, that you want to bless their going out and they're coming in I pronounce a blessing over them like never before until we meet again Father go with your people and we thank you for what you have already begun to do in our lives it's in Jesus name we pray and they all said amen God bless you you are dismissed God bless you all. God bless you all.